welcome to in this depth session on microsoft intra certificate based authentication or in short form we will call as cba in today's video we are going to break down everything you need to know about how ca cba works what it's why it's important in modern enterprise environment and how can you configure it in microsoft intra id to ensure secure passwordless authentication across your organizations so whenever you uh, or uh, wherever you are an it admin or security engineer identity architect any of the person who has been uh, handling identity itself so this will help you to or this course has been designed to help you to understand and implement all those steps with the help of cba certificate certificate based authentication based on that we will just see and understand what is this how we can implement it and parallelly we will configure the same also okay so let's move forward so basically what is cba a small introduction on the cba itself why we need to move away from password has or passwords like we are previously using user id and password correct so why we need to move ahead from passwords because they are increasing unrelatedly like for example over 90 percent of the data breach involves weak the use or stolen credentials which happens due to the weak passwords or the password that has been stolen over there it's or we are just using our password continuously that is the reason so with the raise of those remote work bring your own devices model like uh, you need to just bring your devices and log in on your device itself and cloud first strategies organizations need more secure and scalable authentication methods so that is why certificate certificate based authentication comes into picture itself it's an proving secure alternative that you get cryptography rather than password to verify a users or device identities right so with the help of this you can be able to you the person does not need to use identity itself like user id and password they need to just use a cryptography password which is in the certificate itself they can just use this particular certificate and with the help of that certificate they can be able to log into that particular device or that particular portal where they are going to log in okay so basically we will understand what is an certificate based authentication or cba okay so cba is a method that verify identity using digital certificate issued by a trusted certificate authority which is also known as ca ca is a trusted certificate authority this certificate contains a public key identity me metadata and are signed by the ca private key itself like the ca will sign or they will provide their private key also in it so when a user or device presents a certificate during sign in microsoft intra checks whether it was issued by a trusted ca certificate authority and if it is matches the user identity they ensures that the entity login in is who they claim to be for example the person who has been logged in and he is just claiming that yes i am that particular person so the claim should be the same itself means the identity should claiming their own identity okay without the need of any of the password itself like it will not require any of the password just it will check the identity both the identity itself like the ca authority identity and the person's identity and if it has been verified then they could be able to log in with that particular certificate itself okay so now why use cba why we need to use certificate based authentication so see first it's uh, eliminates the password like you does not need to use the password or you does not need to prevent the password the password has already been there and we does not need to use password again and again 
there is no secret or they anybody cannot be able to steal it there is no risk of stealing the password second is its resistance to pissing keyloggers and brutal force attacks okay so anybody cannot do it or any any attacks that we have it cannot be uh, happens if we are not using password again again correct so its resistance to pissing right any pissing attack could not be done and the another way another reason is it's ideal for regulated industries that require strong cryptographic identity verifications like finance healthcare and defense itself so uh, cryptographic identity is been there which cannot be hacked or which cannot be changed as the ca has already been certified given its signature over there so that is the reason it has been uh, authenticated and uh, easy to verify with uh, with, with the, all the uh, uh, it sectors also it's not uh, for finance healthcare or defense itself anybody who is using in the corporate it's best to use the same itself it also is scalable from workstation and mobile device to headless i uh, uh, like iot devices are there iot endpoints are there so these are uh, CBA just ensure that the trusted identity without a password. So CBA just ensure the particular identity which we are using that should be trusted without the password itself based on the uh, signature that is provided by the authority. Now we will check how CBA works in Microsoft Intra. So Microsoft Intra brings CBA to the cloud native world users can authenticate directly to microsoft intra id using a certificate no need to federate with on-premises ad or deploy active directory federation services adfs this works seamlessly across web browsers native applications and device-based authentication scenarios you configure everything through the microsoft intra admin center with full visibility and control over the process itself you can be able to control you can be able to see the visibility in the microsoft intra center only and you does not need to configure any other applications like adfs or active directory federation services or the federation services that we are using in on-prem so these are quite easy things and microsoft intra id has bring it to use for us apart from that we will check what are the benefits of using cba so benefits just uh, a couple of benefits are there like passwordless sign-in you just, just need to select their certificate and enter a pin no password so they cannot they, they just need not need to remember or forget or they, the password should not, could not be able to leak itself also they just need to provide the pin and the certificate itself it provide cloud native uh, cloud native setup itself for example everything runs from intra no legacy infrastructure like a smart card or gateway or PKI services required. Another benefit is pissing resistance. There is no secret to be steal or no OTP to interrupt between there. Only certificates are there which is cryptographically validated or signed by the CA authority. Just need to verify over there. And the last is the device flexibility. That means that they, it works across Windows, Mac, Linux and even mobile or IoT devices also that we are using. And the, it, it works with the role based access controls also means admins can able to assign policies by group or user role itself. The admins who are just trying to assign the policy or just trying to uh, add the same with the help of user role they can be able to assign it and they can be able to manage with the help of in the enter portal itself also some admins does not need to go to another portal or any other uh, configuration need to be done for the same itself correct <coughs> now we will just go through the configuration walkthrough overview that uh, has been there so we will talk about how we can configure the certificate based authentication in our microsoft intern this is a multiple or we can say couple of steps has been there that we need to follow for the process itself but each of the part is just uh, forward and well covered in this uh, video itself so first we need to upload a certificate like uploading a certificate authorities then we need to enable the CBA certificates based authentication over there in the end uh, admin center then we need to configure authentication binding 
with the uh, in the intra center itself after that we need to create custom rules user mapping and then we need to test the particular uh, custom rules and mapping that we have done so we will if, if you just need to check how we need to do it so you need to just we have a step by step process itself like you need to uh, in the step one is to upload a certificate authority chain the, for that you need to go to intra admin center under protection then under certificate authorities here you need to upload the full trust chain this includes the root ca and all intermediate cas like the main root cas certificate uh, the CA authorities will be there and the intermediate CAs that has been involved over there. So we, the most important thing is that do not forget to upload the CLR, Certificate Revocation List URLs. Okay, All the URLs that will be involved in the certificate, do not forget to upload the same. This will ensure that uh, revoked certificates are checked and rejected itself critical for maintaining a secure environment like if any uh, revocation has been there then they, that will be critical and we need to check it for and the, the security team will check it for to just secure our environment itself correct so after that we need to enable the certificate based authentication that involves you need to next we need to go to the authentication methods certificate based authentication and then turn it on for a specific AD group <coughs> right we have created some of the group over there for the users we need to just turn it on for a specific AD groups rather than for all the groups or all the users so uh, first we need to test it for some of the groups like we are doing POC over there so we need to just check it for some of we have created as uh, single users or two or three users group over there and then we can be able to test our this certificate this authentication with those users so this allow you to control roll out the test with a pilot group first like this is the for first we need to just select the particular group and we need to test it you might assign a policy to executive developers or users with a smart card you can lay, later like you can just uh, uh, scale it up and it can be used uh, on the worldwide itself right right worldwide means uh, the organization where you are just following up so in every of the reasons or every of the users that has been there in the entire you can enable that for all the users so based on that first you need to test it and based on your PUC you can be able to do it on the worldwide kind of thing now we will just check how we can bind the authentication with our certificate certificate with uh, CBA itself right so authentication binding determine how intra intercept the strength of certificate if the certificate is on a smart card or hardware token it's multi factor like it can be a, it can be for the multiple factor itself right so we need to just check that it is on the hardware side or the token that we have done over there if it's in a software container like a pfx file it's single factor if it is in the hardware side or a smart card side then it's a non multiple factor multi factors are there but if it on the if it is in the pfx file then it is in the it's in the single factor you can set tenant wise default also or override them as per the certificate policy intra also supports affinity binding definition how uniquely the certificate defines a user the same like high affinity is be there low infinity is been there so like low infinity will be there the subject name and send will be there and if it is a high infinity then serial number subject key and sk id will be there for the same itself which will help you to just identify which affinity will be uh, is there for the certificate based authentication itself right after that how we need to create a custom rule like now defining the custom rule you can create treat certificate with specific policy object identifier oids or minimum key length as multi-factor this allow you to greater control and policy granularly then configure username binding this map certificate fields to azure user attribute for example if your certificate has subject alt name subject alt name 
UPN map its to the user principal name in entirety. Using high affinity attribute like SKI improves matching precedence and reduces imprecision risk itself. Like it will just uh, risk it will just decrease the risk that will be there and we need to just map our user principal name with subject ALT name itself with the certificate and it will just check those particular uh, two attributes which we have mapped and if both matches then the uh, that will approve and they can be able to log in with this particular certificate itself. So till here we have done all the uh, configuration of our certificate based authentication like how to enable it, how we, need, we can be able to map the users, how we can be able to create a custom rule or custom uh, username binding with this uh, certificate that we have been created. So now it's time for testing the certificate based authentication that we have done. So like we have updated the certificate, user ID attribute in the user profile, if you are using SKI, paste it into the appropriate field in the user intro ID record, then test it, insert your smart card or install your software based certificate, go to the my M365 login page and select your certificate. You should see a seamless secure sign in, no password from slide will be there. If you have done all these steps, then there will be no password prompts already the certificate like you are using software or device based certificate based on your uh, methods then the password prompt that we are getting that will not be there you just yeah, it will just check the CA authorities or the CA sign that we have been there if you have added all the intermediate CAs and the uh, approver CAs which have been there so based on that if everything is on the place itself and all the URLs that we have included we have listed all the URLs of the certificate itself then that particular certificate will be verified and no password prompt will be there you can just be able to click and log into the particular uh, portal like we have been using right here and Microsoft 365 login page like M365 or Office 365 portal itself so you can be able to log in there without any password like it does not need to provide a password based on the certificate you can be able to log in there itself so this is all that we have covered just to recap what we have covered so first we have checked what is CVA and why it matters like what is the need of uh, it in our corporate environment then we have checked for benefit of using of Microsoft Entra ID why we, why we are using uh, the same certificate with authentication with Microsoft Entra ID then we have walked through with little bit of the configuration how we can be able to configure our the certificate with authentication itself how we can be able to bind the users securely and test the authentication that we have done so based on that it is just a scenario based that we have done on the query base itself if you want to be the same with the practical also so just comment me over there or ping me in the LinkedIn page so I can just provide you all the details or all the steps I will just create another video with the same itself if you want a practical demo also so we hope for the session which we have created that's helpful to you you better understand the Microsoft and the CBA on the theoretical part if you have any question regarding the same just drop your question in the comment and do not forget to like subscribe and share with your security team for this theoretical knowledge that we have covered over there if you have any questions direct comment me or I have an email ID in the description itself you can direct mail over there with your queries I will be happy to assist you bye bye take care thank you very much